There is a simple logical reason why we don't do better testing of applications. The temptation to talk about upcoming updates is simply too much. Nibo 2.7 is coming in September, early to mid-September. Let's see what's going to come in that update. Nibo is currently on sale for 30% off until they release this upcoming update. Of course, if you already have Nibo, if you buy it now, the update to 2.7 will be free. Nibo is adding a feature they are calling the freeform page. A freeform page is an infinite writing canvas for brainstorming your ideas. They have enlarged the drafts feature to make it an independent page. Nibo has always emphasized on superb handwriting recognition and responsive content. With the introduction of freeform pages, it is pushing itself towards becoming a broader handwriting note-taking application, one that will potentially compete with notability and good notes. Nibo's freeform page is infinite in any direction you write. For those of you guys that are crazy about writing on infinite pages, you will love this. The writing canvas is a grid with extremely narrow line spacing at 100% zoom. You can zoom in up to 200%. At that zoom level, the grids start to become usable. We definitely need more zooming options in the application. But we do commend the developers for displaying the zoom percentage on the screen as we zoom in and out of the freeform page. For consistency in handwriting, it is necessary we know how zoomed in we are on the page at any given time while writing notes. The developers have created this freeform page to help us brainstorm ideas before writing our notes in the application. Brainstorming is a very important part of writing. It's always better when you can do it in the same app that has your final notes. And this is why Nebo has introduced this feature. You get the same writing tools you get from your normal Nebo page, except for the keyboard. On the freeform page, we can't type our notes. To understand how these tools work, please watch the video we did on the full review of Nebo. We will have a link to that video in the description down below. You can add photos to your freeform page. You can resize and move them around. And you can search through your notes. Once you are done with brainstorming, you can copy your notes as text, sketch, math, or diagram to paste them in other applications or in the normal Nebo page. Since Nebo doesn't support multiple instances yet, this process is tedious. You have to copy your section, exit the freeform page to look for the normal Nebo page, open it, and then paste your notes. If this whole procedure bothers you, you still have the option to add a freeform section in the regular normal Nibo page. To make this efficient, Nibo needs to start supporting multiple instances and drag and drop. Two things we know are on the development radar. In the future, we will be able to open two documents side by side so we can drag and drop sections of our notes between freeform and normal pages. Without drag and drop and multiple instances, the draft feature, which they are now calling the freeform section, is more useful with the normal Nibo pages. You can export your notes as PNG, SVG, or PDF. For these notes that I just created, the PDF size is decent. I can read most of the items on the page without zooming in. But of course, zooming in helps and it's not a problem in Nebo because the application uses vector ink. While the most obvious use for the freeform page is brainstorming, we have other ideas in mind. We can now write notes in Nebo and export them without converting them to text. And we can do this on an infinite canvas. Excuse the handwriting, the application is acting up a little bit as is to be expected of a beta version running on iPadOS 14, which is also a beta. Nibo now offers two distinct but connected handwriting experiences in the application. If you want excellent handwriting recognition and conversion on a structured page, but also like to sketch freely on an infinite canvas, Nibo 2.7 is quite promising. Would love to see Nibo add features to the freeform page that make it more versatile, a part of the application where users can handwrite final notes for exporting. We would like the developers to bring in features from different note-taking applications to this freeform to make it a fully functional handwriting note-taking app.
What feature would you like to see first? Let us know in the comment section down below. That pretty much covers the upcoming Nebo 2.7. Interesting times ahead of us. What would you use the Freeform page for? Do tell. We hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you, fantastic one, for watching. See you in the next video.